Today's video is about solving systems of equations using quadratics. So in this first example, we have two quadratics. The first one, we can identify which conic it's going to represent. So we see we have a four and we have a negative nine as the coefficients of the x squared and the y squared term. So one of them is positive, the other one is negative, which means we're going to have a hyperbola. The second one, we only have one squared term. We can see that we have only an x squared term. Oops. And with this x squared term, since that's the only one, we know that the second equation is going to be representative of a parabola. So now we're going to look for the intersection points of the hyperbola and the parabola. So we can use the same strategies that we know for solving a system of equations that are not quadratic. We could use substitution. We could use elimination. We could also use graphing. So here on this first one, if we look at it, we can see that we have a 4x squared in both of the equations. If I were to cancel that, it would eliminate completely my x terms. So if I multiply the first equation here by a negative 1, then I am simply going to have negative 4x squared plus 9y squared plus 36 is equal to zero. My second equation is going to stay the same, 4x squared. And then I have a minus 36y is equal to zero. I'm kind of trying to keep the terms lined up here. And once I add these together then, my x squared terms are going to cancel. Once those ones cancel, then what I'm left with is a 9y squared minus 36y plus 36 is equal to zero. Now I can simply solve this quadratic in terms of the one variable y and find the y value. So everything is divisible by nine. Let's divide by nine. y squared minus four y plus four is equal to zero. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna solve this equation. So I could write it as y minus two quantity squared equals zero. So I get y is equal to two. Taking my y equals two then, plug it into either of my first equations. I'm gonna plug it into, let's see, let's plug it into the second equation right here, the parabola. So using that second equation there for the parabola, I plug in my y equals two, and so I have four x squared minus 36 times two is equal to zero. Solving this, I end up with x is equal to plus or minus three square root of two. Now that I have those, I wanna write them out as coordinates for my final answer. So for my final answer, if my x is three square root of two, my y is two. My second coordinate would be my x is negative three square root of two, my y is two. And there is my solution. Now with this solution, we could check it on our graphing calculator. However, we're not able to type in 4x squared minus 9y squared minus 36 because it's not solved for y. So in order to type it into our graphing calculator, we need to put it in y equals form. And so to check our work on our graphing calculator, let's convert these into y equals form to see that we have the correct solutions. So for the graphing calculator, we have to solve for y. So taking my first equation there, I have my 4x squared minus 9y squared minus 36 is equal to zero. So solving for y, I'm gonna get negative 9y squared is equal to negative 4x squared plus 36. Divide by my negative nine, I'm just gonna write it as negative 1 ninth times the quantity of negative 4x squared plus 36, and then, oops, that's y squared, and then take the square root. When I take the square root, I get plus or minus, so I'm gonna put my y1 as the positive square root of negative 1 ninth times the quantity, negative 4x squared plus 36. And then I'm gonna put my y2 
as negative the square root of negative 1 ninth times the quantity of negative 4x squared plus 36. I could type it in as my y1 and y2 in that form. If you want to simplify a little bit, you are welcome to simplify. And you can get reduced forms of the y1 and the y2. If you do that, you would end up completely simplifying y1 and y2. You're going to end up with a y1 as 2 thirds times the square root of x squared minus 9. Your y2 would simply be negative 2 thirds times the square root of x squared minus 9. Now these two would be in completely simplified form. So if you're asked to put it in graphing calculator form and simplify it, you'd want to give the blue equations. If you're just trying to graph it on the graphing calculator, then you can just simply get to the pink equations and pause there.